us now, Dave Chadwick, Director of Oracle Business Development at, uh, at uh, Business Intelligence Software. He is the author of an op-ed piece that appeared in the New Bern Sun Journal there in North Carolina. Not a pundit or a political commentator. He says as a concerned citizen, he felt he needed to speak out on this issue. So, Dave, welcome to Newsmax TV and America's Forum. Time to speak out. I understand you're concerned about the tactics that Kay Hagan and other Democrats are using there in North Carolina. It's a, a bit disappointing how they choose to talk down to us as if we're too stupid to understand that no one's going to take away our right to vote. No, no one's going to lynch us um, if the Democrats don't get into to office. I, I, I saw a, um, a flyer that was being circulated in the Fayetteville area last weekend, and it was only being uh, uh, circulated in African-American communities down there. And the flyer had a picture of a guy being lynched and a bunch of the you know old 1930s type KKK guys standing around it, and the caption said, if uh, Kay Hagan doesn't win, the um, uh, impeachment of Obama will begin. But what they were inferring by the picture is that if the Democrats don't win, we're going to be lynched. Uh, how stupid do I have to be to believe that? David, you see this concerted play in the African-American community. Uh, how do you react? What are you hearing from your friends and neighbors? Uh, my friends are have been disappointed with uh, the current administration for a while. Um, unemployment is not better among African Americans. It's worse. Uh, we're in deeper debt. Uh, the jobs we can get are, are menial jobs. And I don't mean to speak down against anything. I'm just saying if you are married with a family of two, you need to make more than minimum wage. And unfortunately, uh, there are just not a lot of uh, great jobs out there. A lot of jobs, but not a lot a lot of great jobs that can help you to support a family. And unlike what I heard from Senator Clinton over the weekend, I do believe that businesses create jobs. Well, you have that argument coming uh, from the Democrats and also a renewed evidence that they want to pick up on, on what transpired in, in Ferguson, Missouri. Do you believe when all is said and done in that hotly contested North Carolina Senate race, you will see quote, a Ferguson strategy employed by Kay Hagan's team? We've got about a minute left, Dave. Well, there's, there's already commercials that are running on the local uh, R&B station, Rhythm and Blues station, uh, which has a lady saying, um, in light of what took place in Ferguson, if we don't get our candidates voted in, um, the police are not accountable to us. I, I just don't understand that kind of tactic. Uh, and I, I hope that it doesn't work with most people. But unfortunately, I, I didn't think we'd see a second term of this administration, and we did. So uh, there's a lot of emotion at play. Well, a lot of emotion at play, and obviously a, a variety of tactics being utilized to get out the vote. In your opinion, David, obviously this prompted you to write the op-ed in the New Bern paper, but will this tactic be successful in the African-American community? We've got about 15 seconds. I think we'll be able to get about two, maybe three percent of African Americans in North Carolina to swing uh, uh, the other way uh, opposite the administration. Well, we will see. That certainly portends big things for Tom Tillis in his race against Kay Hagan. Dave Chadwick checking in from New Bern. We thank you so much for your time. America's Forum continues.